The 2023 Tesla Model 3 sedan is here. According to leaked internal communications between Tesla employees, the company has officially switched over to 2023 model year production at the Fremont, California plant as of October 4th. So what exactly does that mean for you, the consumer? While the company may have officially rolled over the calendar on VIN numbers, Tesla has not yet abandoned their old strategy of just making unannounced changes to the vehicle features whenever they damn well please. So we'll have to do a bit of work to figure out what features have been added to the Model 3 as of right now, what features have been taken away, there are a few, and then what changes we can expect to see going forward in 2023. So let's get going. The first complication that we run into is in actually trying to order a Tesla Model 3. It's gotten a bit complicated recently. So when you first arrive on the Tesla website, the first thing you see is the Model 3 with the options for custom order or existing inventory. If we go to custom order our Model 3, we can have a standard Model 3 with rear wheel drive for 47,000 US dollars, or a dual motor all wheel drive performance Model 3 for 63 grand. The mid-tier option for a Model 3 with dual motor all wheel drive and long range is currently grayed out. We can't select it. This has been the case since mid-August when Tesla decided to pause orders on this particular option package due to a backlog of orders that were creating extremely long delivery wait times. In Australia, the Model 3 recently started outselling the Toyota Camry, so there is massive demand for these vehicles out there. Consumer preference is definitely moving towards electric cars in a big way. As of right now, we have no idea when Tesla plans to reinstate long-range orders. There is a workaround for this. If you choose existing inventory as your order method, then you might find that there are a small handful of Model 3 vehicles available for purchase in your area, which depends on where you live. You don't get to choose the options for wheels, paint, or interior, but you can still choose whether or not to add full self-driving or enhanced autopilot. Going this route, you can find a long-range dual-motor Model 3 for around 60 grand, give or take. Going back to the design studio for just $47,000, you can have the base-level Model 3. This gets you a single electric motor in the rear of the car and a battery pack that uses a new type of battery cell called an LFP cell. These are different from the battery cells in the performance and long-range options. The LFP batteries have a lower energy density, so range and acceleration are limited. You can squeeze 272 miles out of this vehicle by equipping the aero wheels and hubcaps, which is not bad at all. And it's still plenty fast with a 0-60 acceleration of 5.8 seconds. This Model 3 is a great deal, probably the best bang for buck in the entire electric vehicle world right now. Those LFP batteries with an iron metal cathode help to keep the cost down, and they also offer the advantage of charging to 100% capacity every time with no consequences. With a traditional Tesla battery cell, you should only ever charge to around 90% to protect the battery from degrading. Ordering a 2023 Model 3 standard right now means you'll get a delivery sometime before the end of the year, which is pretty manageable. Of course, there's still the Model 3 Performance, also a great bang for buck vehicle, although much higher at 63 grand. However, at that price point, you get a 0 to 60 acceleration of 3.1 seconds, which will keep pace with the new Lamborghini Huracan Technica at $239,000. And that's pretty damn cool. And on top of that, delivery on the Performance is shortened to November. As for the long range Model 3, all we know is that it will be available for order again sometime in 2023. By the way, if you're enjoying the content we create here on the Tesla space and would like to support us, check out our Patreon page. We've got some exclusive perks for our Patreon supporters, and it helps us grow the team and continue producing this content. Now, we might as well dive straight into the biggest controversy for the 2023 Model 3, 
Tesla is removing features again. This time they've stripped out all that remained of the vehicle's object detection sensors. We know that Tesla removed all radar sensors from the Model 3 and Model Y back in the spring of 2021. That was to allow the cameras to take over the heavy lifting during autopilot use. Tesla calls this their vision-based system. It came with a few limitations when the change was first made. Tesla vehicles without the radar sensors lost features like auto steer, smart summon, emergency lane departure, and the maximum speed for autopilot was reduced to just 75 miles per hour. Now, all of those features were eventually added back in, but autopilot is still limited to 85 miles an hour, when it used to be 90 before the change. There is also the remaining quirk that auto high beams and auto wipers must be turned on for vision-based autopilot to function. Now, in a recent blog post, Tesla has announced the removal of the ultrasonic sensors from the Model 3 and Model Y. Up until this point, the Model 3 had 12 of the USS sensors equipped all around the vehicle. They are those little circles that you see in the bumpers. These were used primarily to detect nearby objects for situations like parking or for collision detection. Tesla explained this change by writing, Compared to radar-equipped vehicles, Model 3 and Model Ys with Tesla Vision have either maintained or improved their active safety ratings in the US and Europe, and perform better in pedestrian automatic emergency braking intervention. Today, we are taking the next step in Tesla Vision by removing ultrasonic sensors from Model 3 and Model Y. The company says that the sensor functionality will be replaced by an upgraded vision network for autopilot that is being taken from the latest full self-driving beta software. They write, along with the removal of USS, we have simultaneously launched our vision-based occupancy network, currently used in FSD beta, to replace the inputs generated by USS. With today's software, this approach gives autopilot high-definition spatial positioning, longer range visibility, and ability to identify and differentiate between objects. As with many Tesla features, our occupancy network will continue to improve rapidly over time. What this means for the consumer is that all newly delivered 2023 Model 3 vehicles will have features temporarily limited until the Vision Network is considered safe and adequate. So expect to lose Park Assist, Auto Park, Summon, and Smart Summon. Now, it's worth noting that three of these features, Auto Park, Summon, and Smart Summon, are only available with the Enhanced Autopilot or Full Self-Driving Upgrades. The only change to Standard Autopilot is the removal of Park Assist, which alerts you of surrounding objects when the vehicle is traveling less than 8 kilometers per hour. This means that if you choose to add Enhanced Autopilot to your Model 3, then three of the five features you are paying $6,000 US dollars for will not work. So that's probably a bad deal at the moment. There is no timeline on when the features will be restored, but Tesla says that it will happen automatically with an over-the-air software update. Visually, this means that the little circles are deleted from the vehicle body, and it does look much more clean without them. Tesla has updated their product photos to reflect the new sensorless body panels. This also means that if you were to get into a minor collision with one of these new cars, the cost and complexity of the repair should be greatly reduced because there are no sensors to damage. Okay, so we know what's being taken away, but what amazing new features have been added to the Model 3 for 2023? Well, not many. Unlike back in 2021, when we saw a whole suite of new upgrades for the Model 3, like black trim, laminated windows, and a powered trunk, the 2023 model year is coming in more or less the same as before. Most of the changes that we have seen recently, or will see in the near future, are software-based. The only real hardware upgrade that we've seen over the past year was the introduction of an AMD Ryzen processor to the Model 3 infotainment system. This gives significantly increased performance for the web browser and video streaming through the center display. It also sets the vehicle up for much more powerful in-car gaming. We know that Tesla is working on Steam integrations to open up a giant catalog of downloadable games for the Tesla system. And with the new AMD chip, 
the Tesla should offer similar gaming performance to a PlayStation 5. Another hardware change would be the introduction of a lithium-ion 12-volt battery to the Model 3. Again, this happened a few months back, but it's not well publicized, so we might as well point it out. Instead of the old-school car battery, Tesla now uses a lithium-ion cell to power the vehicle's electronics. Why even have this when there is already a giant battery pack on the floor, you might ask? Automotive components are built to run off 12-volt power, and the main battery pack is 400 volts, so they're just not compatible. The advantage to the consumer with lithium-ion is greater reliability. The traditional car battery is designed to be used with an alternator that spins with the engine and provides a constant trickle charge when the car is running. Electric vehicles don't do that, so the old batteries would tend to fail prematurely and often. It can be a pain in the ass and expensive. On the software side, we're pretty excited about a new feature coming soon called Reverse Summon. So with the existing summon feature, your Tesla can leave a parking spot and travel autonomously to your position as long as it never drives on the road. With Reverse Summon, you can hop out of your Tesla at the entrance to somewhere like a shopping mall or a grocery store, and the car will then autonomously go find itself a parking spot and wait for you to come back out where it can then be summoned back to the entrance. This is 100% a luxury item and not at all necessary, but it's pretty cool. Not that it would work on a new Model 3 anyway because of the ultrasonic sensor thing. So that's the gist of the Tesla Model 3 going into 2023. It's still an amazing car and a great value for money, no matter what option package you choose or are able to get your hands on. While maybe not as practical as the larger hatchback Model Y, the Model 3 has always been a perfect blend of sports car performance with sedan convenience. Let us know where you're at in the Tesla buying process. Are you eyeing up a new Model 3 right now? How do you feel about the latest change in features? Drop your thoughts down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up today if you liked it. That is so important for getting our content out to more people. If you enjoy the content, then you'd probably also enjoy our weekly newsletter. So sign up with the link down below at theteslaspace.com. A huge thank you to all of our Patreon supporters who are listed on the screen now. You help us make the best content we can, and we really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.